MMA, what is going on? Good morning, top of the morning to you all. This is your boy BJ back with another video. Sure, this is a sadness. This is a sadness, man. This is one fight I was looking forward to. This is one of those tickle to no filter MMA uh, 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 juices with. This is one. This one had my juices flowing right here because this was interesting. Now I was for sure. That Yana Kuniskaya would beat Aspen Ladd. And, and Yana Kuniskaya was winning that fight with Aspen. But um, Aspen beat Yana Kuniskaya, man. I mean, she she beat Kuniskaya. I mean, she decisively beat Kuniskaya. I mean, she beat her by knockout. So now you have Juliana Pena who knocked the ring rust off and went in there and beat up Nico Montano. You know what I'm saying? Which was a very good fight. So now you have Juliana Pena out of this fight. If Juliana, whoever won this fight was going to go right, be blessed in going right into that octagon with Amanda Nunes. Whoever won this fight was going to go in there with Amanda Nunes. You know, and I was hoping to see Juliana Pena come out here and win this fight because I just don't feel like Aspen Ladd versus Amanda is going to be much of a contest. I, I just, I don't see Aspen Ladd and Amanda Nunes really being that much of a contest, you know? I mean, I hate to say that, but I, I don't see it. Juliana Pena, on the other hand, being scrappy, you know, you know, being similar, a similar style. <coughs> Juliana Pena being a similar style to Kat Zingano, you know, that's why I wanted to see Juliana Pena versus Amanda Nunes because we, as we know, Amanda Nunes can't deal with that, with that, uh, with that Kat Zingano type style, that scrappy style, that grappling heavy style. She can't deal with that. So let's go. Okay, so Juliana Pena has recently pulled out of this fight, which sucks ass, man. It does. It does. But she, she's out of this fight. Now, the only person I can see realistically stepping in to this fight with Aspen Ladd would be Irene Aldana. Now, the time is a little short. You know, if, if Irene Aldana can make the wait in a short time. But that's the only real question as to who should step in and fight Aspen Ladd. It should be Irina Aldana. Because Irina Aldana um, just knocked off Ketlin Vieira, who was in line for the title shot. If, if Ketlin Vieira hadn't been injured, Ketlin Vieira be, would have been in fault for the belt because she beat Kat Zingano at the time. So, you know, I mean, you know, she beat Kat Zingano a couple years back. So, you know, that's the only <clears throat> realistic person that I see should step into this, this, you know, and fight. Unless somebody can short notice, make, somebody else can short notice make this fight and give Aspen Ladd a fight. Who could it be? Who could step in short notice and fight Aspen Ladd and, 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 and get the opportunity to beat Aspen Ladd and possibly fight for the belt? Maybe like a Macy Chasson. What if, I mean, just imagine if Macy Chasson steps in short notice, starches Aspen Ladd, and now Macy Chasson is the number one contender fighting for the belt. Be fucking crazy. You know, who else? They don't, they wouldn't rematch Kuniskaya and Ladd. You know, I would, I, they wouldn't do that. I mean, even though Yana Kuniskaya would probably step in there and take this fight. Um, but who? Who got, I don't know who could step in and take this fight and go in there and beat Aspen Ladd. And and, and 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 make it happen. But like I said, guys, realistically, the only person I see is Irina Aldana stepping in. Now, if Irina Aldana goes in there and beats Aspen Ladd, you gotta give you gotta give Irina Aldana what she's deserved, and that's a title shot. You know, and, and my thoughts on Irina Aldana, very crisp striking, very calculated striker. You know what I'm saying? And now I now we see Irina Aldana sitting down on her punches which is making a huge difference in what we see coming out of Irene Adanya. When she, when she knocked out Ketlin Vieira, you could see Irene Adanya sitting down on them punches, throwing with, cause she, throwing with some heat. Because she knew she had to throw with heat in there with somebody like Ketlin Vieira. She knew she had to throw heat, just like Yana Kuniskaya knew that she had to throw with some heat when she was in there with Aspen Ladd. It is what it is. So we'll see, guys. Let's see how this Bantamweight title contender picture plays out. 
this is your boy BJ back from No Filter MMA. Drop those comments in the comment section. Hit that like button. Hit that dislike button if you haven't already. Hit the subscribe button. And I'm out.